Hello everyone, Christopher Beast here, and today we'll be reviewing all the major POIs on the new Armor Reforger map, Arland. This map was added in the newest update, 0.9.7, and features a playstyle akin to a more condensed version of Everon. So with no more delay, let's just get right into this. Adorning the center ridge of the map, far from other POIs and spawns, is this first POI. The signal tower features the ultimate high ground on the map, several build points, and relative isolation with no major POIs, spawn locations, or really one major road leading into it, allowing for establishment of a base that likely won't be attacked very often. However, if the objective is attacked, defenders should make use of the high ground to their advantage, while attackers should prioritize pushing from the south through the crowded, covered tree line, which is far preferable to the open fields on the north side. Moving from here, we can head to a more populated locale, the town of Arville. This small town is located in the center of vast fields in all directions. It sports several build points, allowing it to be a locale of tactical value. For defenders, they should prioritize preventing the enemy assault from entering the city at all. The low amounts of coverage from the fields will make the initial push very hard for attackers, especially if the defense uses sniper fire to pick off the advance. Attackers should use vehicles to quickly push past these fields, then quickly use the cover of the town's various buildings to have a greater advantage. But even more populated than Arleyville is the city of Beauregard. This is the largest urban center on the map and is located in the far north of the map. It sports a very large amount of build spots and is likely to be the location of many engagements. There is no clear strategy for the defense or offense as the city is too large to defend all entry points without large amounts of players. And the city being large also prevents any one minor victory in an offense the cost of the defenders the objective. All in all, play well and the city may fall to your favor. Away from densely populated cities on the opposite side of the dividing ridge is the airport. This airport is far larger than its equivalent on Evron and connects several small military bases. Holding all bases would likely require a team to use vehicles to quickly maneuver on the runways and taxiways between bases running logi and support where necessary. However, attacking teams could use anti-vehicle weaponry to cut such travel and divide and conquer the various bases after doing so. Aside from these major POIs, there are many smaller POIs. However, the majority of these are just simple, specific types of foliage and geography that you're likely to just pass through on your way to the next major POI. There is one last thing to note, and that's the bunker. This was widely talked about in the trailer and release notes. However, in practice, it's just a small little bunker near the airfields that currently offers no real strategic importance or real value. It Maybe in the future, it will be connected to the electrical supply update that we've heard be talked about, but it, it does look rather cool. It has some cool gameplay in it. I guess I'm complaining too much. It's just not really practical, and it's way smaller than I expected. But with that, I've now covered every major POI on the map. I hope you guys enjoyed all my coverage, and hopefully you guys have some good rounds on this new engagement. This has been Christopher Beast, and I hope to see you all, well, next time.